In this video, I'm comparing the OnePlus Nord N200 5G with the Apple iPhone 12 Pro. The N200 is a $240 device, while the 12 Pro is a premium $1,000 device. The N200 5G also comes in at a price of free when you get your... The N200 comes in with a weight of 6.67 ounces, while the 12 Pro comes in also at 6.67 ounces, so same weight. Build quality is different though. N200 has a glass front with a plastic frame iPhone 12 Pro glass front, glass spec stainless steel frame. So obviously a better build quality from the flagship, but the N200 is okay. I don't expect nothing premium at this price point of free or 240 bucks. N200 also has a dual SIM uh, and the iPhone 12 Pro has a eSIM embedded. N200 doesn't have any dust or water resistance, but the 12 Pro has IP68. The N200 5G has a 6.5 inch display at 90 hertz. Very nice, very nice. 83% screen to body ratio. While the iPhone 12 Pro has a Super Retina display at 6.1 inches with 86% screen to body ratio. When you break down the resolution, you got a 1080p Full HD display on the N200, very nice, coming in at 406 ppi density. 12 Pro has a little bit better resolution screen, 1170 by 2532, which breaks down to 460 ppi density. But it's very, very close. Both of these screens are very quality, but the N200 stands out because it's only 240 bucks and it has a 90 hertz refresh rate versus the 60 on the iPhone 12 Pro. So anything in the 400 ppi density range is very, very nice. But one is 240 bucks, the other one is 1000 For the OS, the N200 is running Android 11 with Oxygen OS 11 on top, which is basically a stock version of Android. Uh, the iPhone 12 Pro has the newest iOS 14 available. Uh, for software updates, the N200 will get one major update to iPhone, or I'm sorry, to Android 12, while the iPhone 12 Pro will get five to six years of software updates. So the longer lasting device on the software front is the iPhone, um, but, the, but both of these phones will definitely run the same apps for the most part. All the popular apps are available in both app stores, and the... You're gonna get special apps that are iPhone only on the iPhone, such as uh, iMessage, FaceTime, AirDrop, and iMovie, for example. For the chipset, the N200 has a Snapdragon 480 5G, which is a lower end 5G processor, but it'll get the job done. But you get the flagship top level Apple A14 Bionic chip, which will run every app in the App Store, and it will have uh, the capabilities to have to run heavy, intensive graphic games and heavy video editing. You have 64 gigs of internal storage on the N200 versus the 128 on the iPhone 12 Pro, but the N200 has a micro SD card slot. For RAM, you have four gigs on the OnePlus. You got six gigs of RAM on the iPhone 12 Pro. Both of these amounts of RAM are sufficient to run several apps in the background. Four gigs is more than enough for Android for most people, while six gigs is way more than enough for an iPhone because iOS utilizes RAM very efficiently. For the camera setup on the back, the N200 has a triple camera setup, 13 megapixel main, 2 megapixel macro, 2 megapixel depth, iPhone 12 Pro, 12 megapixel main camera, 12 megapixel telephoto, 12 megapixel ultra wide. You can shoot up to 1080p on the N200, 4K in the iPhone 12 Pro. To summarize the camera setup on both of these phones in comparison, the N200 is okay. It's average, you'll be happy for most people if you're outside or in, in some sunlight has Good amount of light you'll be you'll be satisfied with the results but the iphone 12 pro just takes a cake is the best in-class camera pretty much of every cell phone out there uh, the pro definitely uh, does a lot with that third camera because it just brings it all together great video great pictures best in class selfie on the n260 megapixels 12 megapixels on the iphone 1080p video on the N200 4K and the 12 Pro. Again, you'll be satisfied with the N200, but the iPhone 12 Pro just has overall way better results. The N200 has a bonus of having a headphone jack, while the iPhone 12, does, iPhone 12 Pro does not. And for Bluetooth, both of these will happily connect your uh, wireless devices. So you got 5.1 Bluetooth on the N200, 5.0 Bluetooth on the 12 Pro. Connect your wireless headphones, your smart devices, your smart wearables, your smart watch, 
uh, and your wireless speakers, for example. Both phones have NFC, which is mainly used for payments. Uh, you have USB uh, Type-C for the charging port on the N200. You got the lightning port on the iPhone 12 Pro. Both of these phones uh, unlock uh, with uh, very, very uh, ease. Uh, you got a fingerprint side mounted one on the N200 while you got Face ID on the iPhone 12 Pro. Different ways of unlocking these devices, but both are reliable ways to get them unlocked. And last but not least is the battery. The N200 has a beast of a battery, 5,000 milliamps. It will last you several days, while the 12 Pro has a smaller 2,800 milliamp battery. But it should give you most of the day uh, battery life. Um, while not as impressive as the one 200 um, uh, iOS uses battery very efficiently, but you gotta give you gotta give it up for the N200 5000 milliamp battery. It wins in the battery department hands down. One key feature uh, that the N200 has of the 12 Pro, one is 240, while the other one's a thousand dollars. Both of these offer fast charging as well. I got 18 watts on the N200, which is okay. it's pretty good for the price point. But you also get fast charging at 20 watts on the 12 Pro. You get 50% charge in 30 minutes. Also have Qi wireless magnetic charging. So all these, although both of these phones are very, very good in their respective rights, one offers a lot of value in a 5G phone for the N200. You get a lot of quality Pro features in the 12 in the iPhone 12 Pro, but that's only if you're willing to spend a thousand dollars. I would only pick the iPhone 12 Pro if you are really into video editing, picture editing, if you're really into cameras and stuff like that, definitely pick up the 12 Pro because there's nothing wrong with the N200 5G. It has a lot of strong points over the 12 Pro, especially the price. You get it for 240 bucks unlocked or you can get it for free on Metro by T-Mobile here in the States on prepaid. It has a strong 5,000 milliamp battery. Um, it has a headphone jack. It has the micro SD card slot and it has that 90 hertz refresh rate. Now that sounds like a pro feature that's not featured on the thousand dollar iPhone. But also if you like your iMessage, your FaceTime, your AirDrop, your iMovie, a lot of editing stuff, the iPhone 12 Pro will be uh, good for you. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in the next one.